Hello, 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 everybody. It is Matt, and it is Wild Wednesday, and I am back at you with yet another review. Before I roll on to any of that, I want to wish each and every one of you a great morning, evening, dawn, day, or dusk. All that lovely stuff, because life really is too short as is. Do me a really huge favor and like, share, and subscribe. I love seeing your beautiful faces when you are here. I know I'm here an awful lot, but I have an awful lot on my plate to review. And one last little tidbit of info. Check out the description box. I give you a bigger bite of every single movie of every single day. Such as today, I wrote the brief synopsis, which is why it's very basic. Um, I give you your starring cast, your director, runtime of the cut I am watching, along with the link for where you can watch it for free. And then if you decide, you can help support Matt's Movie Mania and toss me a couple of bucks. Now that I got all that said and mind all that out of the way, let's roll on to the film of the day. And today's is a very interesting one. It's another one coming from our good friend, Justin Adams. It is none other than Mr. Piggy 2 and fam or Mr. Piggy and Family 2. Dinner is served. Excuse me, sorry for fumbling on the title there. Um, this thing is a uh, very interesting movie. Um, it is a short, I believe it was, um, I can't remember if it was 18 or 28 minutes. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, either way, um, it's, it's under a half an hour. So, uh, you got, uh, a very quick watch. I'm going to tilt this just a little. There we go. It's quick watch. Um, it's available over there on YouTube which I give you the link for where you can watch it, along with some of Justin's other films, which I uh, highly recommend if you want to see some uh, good old-fashioned DIY-style horror. Um, this is definitely um, uh, right up your alley. Um, now, what exactly is Mr. Piggy and Family 2 about? Well, it's um, Mr. Piggy has returned in the Iggy family. Um, they have gotten themselves a another group of friends that are they are picking off one by one and are doing the um, let's torture them to death uh, 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 thing uh, that they do with each and every one of um, their victims. They try to do that. Um, it doesn't always become successful because once in a while uh, a regular victim um, out in, like uh, they get killed outside of the basement where they're doing all this um, debauchery. Now um, you have all kinds of things going on from hands uh, or arms getting chopped off at the forearm, fingers getting chopped off. Um, other pieces of meat being sliced off and ear being ripped off. All kinds of great horror gags. Granted, yes, they are a little bit lower budget, so they don't look to look like a Hollywood movie. But honestly, let's just face it, folks. I don't review too many of those big budget style films. Um, this one is is uh, super low budget, like like I love them. Um, now, Justin Adams returns as Mr. Piggy. Um, uh, Justin is also the uh, director as well. Um, I think he is uh, uh, the funnest character in both of both the uh, uh, Mr. Piggy and family films. Um, I just I just love his accent that he uses uh, along with everybody else. They all use like um, old fashioned. Um, southern hospitality type twang to it it's it's quite interesting um i don't want to talk too much about the film itself because it's a a, a short film um i don't want to give away too much um i feel like i've already given away a lot as is um but let's move on to the uh three things that i love my movies to me First is the audio. The audio is okay for the for the most. Um, when they're in the basement, um, everything is very clean and, and fine, and and you can understand what the characters are saying. Um, there was just one scene in particular 
um, where where the group of friends were by their van after it broke down. Um, uh, they were outside the van uh, chatting away. Um, I had to uh, turn turn the sound way up um, for that scene um, because I had a little bit of a hard time understanding characters the first time around, but uh, second time around it was perfectly okay. Um, but uh, uh, other than that, I think it runs very fine on the uh, audio side. So I'm going to give it, an, a, 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 let's give it a B there, just because that one scene. Um, now on to the uh, dialogue. The dialogue is fun. It's catchy. Um, it uh, is, uh, uh, how do I say this? It's uh, got, it's got a great vibe to it where, where you're having a good time being entertained. You have a couple of laughs as well here and there. Um, are they intentional? I don't know, but, um, uh, either way, I had a great time watching this one. Um, so the dialogue, I'm going to give it an A. Now, the third thing is editing. The editing is very good. It has a good pace. Um, I feel like it doesn't have any weird cuts that don't make sense. Um, it runs at a good time. Um... It just really, really uh, works for really well. Um, I think it's to get edited together um, on a on a fine fashion. I think Justin, um, I think Justin did the editing on this one. I can't remember in the uh, credits if he was listed as as the editor, but either way, um, the editing is very good. So I'm going to give it another A. Now on to my final score of one through five. Is it gonna get a five? No, it's gonna get a, a four out of five. Um, it, it could be better. Um, it could be it could be bad, um, but it's not, it's fun. Um, it it uh, has, has everything you could want in a, uh, a slasher type film with cannibals. All right, guys. Love your faces, and as always, peace.